Hi everybody, my name is Mary Ann. I'm a Peel Regional Paramedic. I've been with Peel for a long, long time. And uh, yeah, most importantly, I am Kinley's aunt and I'm gonna be coming to visit you guys soon. I just can't bring my ambulance with me. It's a little too far away for me to bring it up. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour and I'm gonna flip it around. Hopefully I do this okay because I'm not very good at this, but uh, I will do my best, okay? So we're in this. And we have a bit of a different setup than some ambulances. This is a really old truck, but we have cabinets here that have bins. And the bins are all covered in plastic because at the end of the day, like this, it's open. We will put it on the stretcher and then there's people who clean and restock our trucks for us. And they will know which bins to go in. So this is kind of the back bin has sheets extra of equipment um, we will use the equipment in the truck if we're already in it and we need it otherwise we go in the bags and use this as a restock you can't really see in them very well but like, ooh. that's an IV kit this is IV supplies fluids and then there's masks in these to help you breathe oh extra batteries and uh, antibiotics and yeah, masks to help you breathe. This is a kind of like our uh, bandage and uh, splint kit in there. Up here, we have airways. We have Medic the Moose, who's always with us to be cheerful to everybody. They just hide up there just to stay out of the way sometimes. And then we have a radio. That's the telephone there and oxygen and suction equipment oh lights are going to turn off there is my jump seat where i sit and i'm going to spin around so you can see the stretcher now this stretcher we press buttons and it goes up and down as long as the battery is working we never forget to charge the battery because otherwise let me keep this on otherwise we have to lift in that stretcher is very very heavy so there's the bench seat which has our big oxygen bag on it. And then there's gloves up top so we can easily reach. These things pull down. So if you have fluid, like a bag, if they're giving you some extra medication with fluid hanging, you see them in hospitals, we hang it here. This is our pediatric bag. So for our kids, this is for more of a serious call that we have lots of medications in. We don't generally take this or this into a call. We take our jack of all trades bag, our BLS bag. That's the one we bring into calls. And the monitor, of course, because we have to look at everybody's heart. That is the trauma bag, so it's got lots of band-aids in it. And our computer that we put all our information on. And then there's a burn kit in there, extra fluids. And that's about it back here. We're gonna go outside. This is also a chair too. It flips up and makes lots of noise. And let's look in here. Extra oxygen. Let's go here. This compartment, oh, let me shut that. All right, this compartment has, since uh, we had COVID, I know you guys all know it. This has extra masks and we wear these gowns. These are car seats for little kids, like three-year-olds and a baby. If they're really, really, really tiny, we put them there. Some extra equipment in the back. So this comes out, it's a pole stretcher. So we put the poles together and we put a piece of cloth and we can carry people out on it instead of a backboard. This is a different scoop stretcher. These are all different types of stretchers so we can help get people out of the house when we can't get our stretcher in. We can carry them out. A tarp, this is more for car accidents or somebody who's broken their leg. There's splints in our main oxygen. And back here, I'm gonna open the doors. It's very hot in here. We have this door. And Backboards, which we can grab at car accidents or somebody falling from a tree and bags there and this is we're out in a bit of a country area of uh, 
building and the fire hall is next to us. So there's the back of the truck. It's a really tall ceiling. And let's go around here. Oh, forgot about this. This is how I identify myself on the truck with our dispatcher. We just give them our truck names and they know who's on the truck. This compartment is for when doffing when we have a call that we have to wear all this stuff on we have to take it off in a certain way and we use the items back here to do it and then of course flares and some salt for the winter and then we have a special one here it's our stair chair it uh, is used for when well, let's take it out As you can see, it's right on the ground, so it's pretty big. It folds out into a chair with wheels on it. It has tracks on it, so we pull those out and kind of roll you downstairs if we need to. And then, the most important bit, door. These are our own stuff. At the beginning of shift, we all carry helmets. We have jackets and different items that have this color on it my bag, my lunch bag, and I have a special uh, breathing mask that I have to wear. And then the driver's seat. We take turns driving. That, it's like I said, an old truck. My partner's currently driving. Um, so our radio system, these are our sirens. This is the radio that we key to talk to this. These are all our sirens and spotlights. This is some extra medications for calls that we take with us. And then this cancels my backup alarm so I don't have to listen to it. We also have a little bit of a speaker here that I like using to direct traffic. It's like a PA, it announces things outside the ambulance. So radio, phone, this is our GPS and in the center we just have stuff. We have our portable radios that when we're outside of the truck we wear so we can communicate with dispatch. This has our gloves, some Kleenexes, and more flares, a fire kit. Those are just signs. And there's a view to the back so my partner can hear me or see me if I'm in the back and I get into some trouble. So that's about it. So this is our station at the beginning of a shift. All these ambulances are here in a big, big station and they all go out for the evening. It's very hot in here. That is my truck for the night and we will be leaving shortly. So we have a lot of different police cars with the OPP. We have marked cars, which are black and white. We have unmarked cars, like that gray one there that have no police markings on it. So we use those for sneaking around sometimes and for traffic. We have cars, we have trucks, but most of our cars are black and white, like you can see here. So we have a lot of cars at our office. And they're all fun to drive. Hello, it's Constable Ian. I'm going to show you around my police car. So this is my police truck. It's black and white and it has emergency lights on the top, on the side mirrors, on, on the front, 
And in the front, we have a big push bar. That's not for ramming cars, though. That's for pushing cars that are broken out of the way. And it says police on the side of it, so people know that we're the police. We have lights on the back of our police car, too, and on the top so people can see us when they're coming up behind us. Here you can see I'm at an accident. Just wait for it. They're going to pull this van over and crash. When we're in the police car, the police car is our office. So I have everything that I need for the day. I have a bottle of water. I have my hat. I have an extra radar. And I have all the paperwork that I'm going to need in a big bag. One thing that we also have in our police cars is special rifles in case something really, really bad happens. We also have a radio in our vehicle that helps us talk to... Oh, we also have a radio in our vehicle that when we need to run license plates or get information from our dispatcher, we can use this mic and talk to them. This part of the truck is where we turn all the emergency lights on. So if I hit this button, it turns on all the emergency lights for the truck. And then I have three different sirens. This is a radar. It measures how fast vehicles are going on the road so I can tell if they're speeding or not. We have a fancy computer and this truck actually has cameras in it. So you can you can see there's the camera right there. So the camera videotapes outside far away and close and then there's another camera in the back seat that if I have a, a bad guy in the back then I can see what they're doing. This computer also lets me do all my paperwork and I can write tickets and I print the tickets out on a computer printer that's right in the vehicle. In the back seat, this is where people that are under arrest go. So there's bars on the windows. There's bars so they can't get into anything else. And there's a big fancy screen that protects me. And if I was riding with another police officer, that we don't get hurt. But there's really not a lot of space back here. It's not a very fun place to be. So in the back of my truck, I have a bunch of stuff. I have a big first aid kit. I have something that we put down on the road with big spikes on it to pop people's tires if they're trying to get away. I have traffic cones for when we go to accidents. I have special tape that we put around things when we don't want people to go to go on to crime scenes or to go to dangerous areas. And then I have things to cut locks. And these are actually things that we can go under big trucks for to look underneath them. And then I have big scales for big transport trucks so I can weigh how much they are. <laughs> 